Wednesday on Home and Family, we welcome comedian Yakov Smirnoff to our home and actress Janae Walton from Project MC Square joins us. That's Wednesday right here on Home and Family. When it comes to, bra when it comes to brownies, are you a cakey or a fudgy fan? It doesn't matter. Yeah. They're if, brownies. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> if you want perfection in your brownies, Dan Kohler is here to show us how to do it. That's right. Yeah. But um, Dan, it's woo, not just woo, woo. Yeah, all Dan. about the baking. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. You're too kind. You're too There's kind. There's some science. In your of course, I mean, truth be told, like Kevin said this earlier, <laughs> there's science every time you step in the kitchen, right? Right, exactly. And, and actually figuring out what's happening in your brownie recipe will really help you guys at home understand exactly how to get the perfect result. Because sometimes you look at a brownie recipe in a magazine or in a cookbook, and it doesn't tell you if it's fudgy or cakey, does it? It just yeah. says, really. you know, so-and-so's ultimate brownie. But if you want to change it, if you want to figure it out, you need to know these rules. I fear that there's going to be a lot of sampling going on. Well, you know. we should probably there might be a yeah. little sample. I mean, across the board, do you guys have a preference off the bat page? Oh, yeah, gooey. Okay. Yeah. Orly? Yeah, gooey. Yeah, fudgy. Fudgy. Cakey. Oh. Fudgy. Come on. Oh, so it's all fudgies and a cakey. Yeah. You are, oh, wow. you are well. standing alone here. It's like a musical. Well, I, you know, nothing else <laughs> to do. Fudge. Yeah. Fudge. Well, a cakey. Fudgy. When you're a cakey, you're a cakey all the Fudgy. way. Fudgy. <laughs> so when you're baking at home, the thing you want to learn about brownies is that it's actually very simple. It's just fat, sugar, eggs, and flour. But when we're talking about fat, it's not just butter this time. Chocolate is also a fat. So when we're, when we're looking at the difference between a cakey brownie and a fudgy brownie, the thing you want to remember is that a cakey brownie is going to have less fat in total. Uh -huh. So right here, if I'm making a cakey brownie, I've got half a stick of butter and only four ounces of chocolate. If I'm going to move that recipe up to a fudgy brownie, I'm gonna go for a full oh, stick of butter no and six yeah. ounces right. of chocolate. No, no wonder, wonder we, we like all it. like that. Now, in this uh, choose your own adventure layout, I've already chosen that we're going with fudgy brownies yes. because I wanted to melt this really? chocolate ahead yes. of time. And, and clearly I was right, oh. five out of six. Yeah. Somebody yeah. needs a follower. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's a planner. That's it. Okay. <laughs> what if you don't wanna use, um, what, uh, could you use margarine or oil? You know, in this case, since we're actually melting the fat, I I melt that chocolate with the butter. You can go ahead and swap in coconut oil or vegetable oil. If I was relying on the butter, you know, in some recipes you see yeah. you've got to cream the butter with the sugar. In that case, you're relying on butter to provide a lot of structure. And in that case, it's actually difficult to make a Am swap. Am I fooling myself that it's healthier if I do the coconut oil? You might, you might be fooling yourself. Okay. Yeah, I mean, fat, you know, fat is fat. But I don't think we are here to vilify fats. Okay. I think you should eat good food. That's yes. right. Yeah. Yes. There we go. I like this guy. Yeah, well, recently, I didn't have vegetable oil, and I was doing cupcakes, and I did butter. And it was so good. It was so good. You <laughs> loved it. You loved it. You don't have to whisper about it. I don't have to whisper to myself. That's true. So the next thing that we're going to come across in your brownie recipe is sugar. And sugar not only provides sweetness, but it actually provides texture and some of that volume. Most recipes you're going to see give you straight up white sugar. But since most people here prefer fudgy brownies, if you guys at home want to take this up a notch, chemically speaking, you need to use brown sugar instead of white sugar. Oh. That gives you an even chewier, densier, yeah. fudgier That's brownie. That's a drop yeah. the mic moment right It there. is. You know what else it is? It's a Dan Kohler science moment. It's like yeah. awesomeness is Wait, the word. Wait, Dan Kohler, did you just make up a word? I said densier. You which said is a, densier. Yeah, I, I feel like think that's a word. It. I feel I was, like we should start a group text <sighs> and we should all make fun of you for using incorrect <laughs> English wait, because wait, you guys, wait. that's what he does. But yeah. can, can we go, can we roll the tape back? Because Kim misspelled diaper earlier. <laughs> so, I know, but I, so we are. But I added the little brownies. Maybe we can say fun science. So once I've got that sugar in there, the next really main ingredient is eggs. Now, to me, there's a third variety with brownies. We've got fudgy, we've got cakey, but we've also got that crinkly, crackly, shiny top. Do you know what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about? A brownie with Mod Podge. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the crafters know exactly yes. what I'm talking about. If you want to make sure you get that, what you want to do is use whole eggs. If you don't like that crinkly top, beat your eggs before they go in and then just fold them in. Now what happens here, when I put whole eggs in and pull out the trusty Careful. Powerful one. Whoa. What happens here is actually we beat those eggs with the sugar. Well, we are making a mess today. That's my and department. Some of that, that sugar, 
Some of that sugar blends with the egg white and it rises to the top in the, in the oven because essentially what that shiny crust is, it's a very thin layer of meringue, which I don't think anyone ever expects is actually happening chemically yeah. speaking, but you beat that sugar with the egg whites and a little bit of it separates and it's very light, so it floats right to the top. You can actually see it here on this brownie. Sure. That's so cool. You know where I could see it even better? If we taste If I had a Well, it's time to bring uh, them in. Wait, wait bring them. Turn. Do we have them? Come on, bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. Oh. And is okay. there an alternative yeah. to now, eggs? Everybody don't, nobody, nobody oh, touch oh, nothing. Oh, 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 that's just okay. me. I'm not the bad one. Nobody touch nothing until I say so. <laughs> Good. You know, if you want to, if you want to use an alternative to eggs, you've got to remember that eggs, eggs tackle a lot of things. It's volume, it's um, adhesion, so it's holding things together, yeah. and it's also. Uh, it's body and lift. So you can use substitutes, but they're not going to get all three of those things. Yeah. Okay. And then last. Last but not least, it's flour. If we're going to stick with this really fudgy brownie, I'm going to use less flour. This is only half a cup. Okay. Oh. Fold that in nicely. And I'm going to use a little bit of cocoa powder because we want to amp up that chocolatey flavor. Oh, that's a nice twist. Yeah. And of course, You're you know, you want to use those stalwarts. You want to make sure you've got some salt in there and you want to make sure you've got a little bit of vanilla because this really rounds out that chocolatey flavor. If, right. however, you're going for a cakey brownie, you're going to bump up that uh, flour. It's going to be one and a half cups instead of half. And right. we're going to use some baking powder because baking powder releases carbon dioxide in the oven. And that <laughs> makes a very light brownie. Put it down, Paige. Put I mean, it down. Nothing's sexier <laughs> than a, a science. It's too late. I'm sorry. Are we a scientist chef. Eat? So, can you use gluten-free flour? Good question. Can you know, we use gluten-free? Because to me, brownies actually, the, the least important ingredient is the flour. So actually, if you've, if you've got a good gluten-free blend that you like at home, feel free to swap it in. Because here it's all about the chocolate, the eggs, and the sugar. Now, these are the fudgy ones, right? You've got the fudgy with we a have shiny the fudgy. crust on there. Oh, all right. No. So Jenny is going to become a... All right, let's see if... I'm the, coming uh, over to the other side. Oh, mm. See if we can convince you. The fudge and the crunch combo. Mm. Those are so you love that. Good. Are you so kidding good. me? A little bit of science goes a long way, guys. Mm. Wait, Jeff. I love science. That's an excellent brownie. Honestly, that's right. I mean, wow. science and... Uh, yeah, yeah. He told me. He want? told me how good this was. I thought he was just fudging, but he was. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you so much, Dan Fuller. Wow, good. What do you prefer? So, I mean, for me, I, I, I'm a fudgy guy. I'm an ultimately fudgy guy. I, I use some white sugar and I use a little bit of brown sugar because I want that really dense center. Wow. What well, Dan, we love you. For more of Dan's <laughs> complete recipe, go to our website, Fudgy more. Cakey. It's more. all there. More, more. Mm. All right, guys, it's not as delicious, but it's very, very pretty. 3D wall art coming up next.